In this lesson, we'll be covering how to create and remove directories and files from the command line. Being able to create and remove files and directories will allow us to execute a series of commands without needing to switch back and forth between the command line and another interface. Let's open our terminal and begin by making a new directory. In the terminal, let's first type cd to make sure that we're in our computer's home directory. Now from the home directory, type ls, which will list all files and directories within this folder. If, like me, you don't already have a folder named Sites, let's create it using the mkdir command, which stands for make directory. To do so, type make dir and then pass it the name of the directory, which in our case will be Sites. Now typing the ls command will reveal the Sites directory. Let's cd into our Sites directory by typing cd Sites. From the Sites directory, we can see that it's an empty directory by typing ls. Now let's make another directory within the sites directory and cd into it all on one line by typing make dir sample dir double ampersand cd sample dir. Adding the double ampersand between commands allowed us to execute these two commands on a single line. Now we can see that we're inside of our sample directory by typing pwd and our path reflects that. Now let's create a file in our new directory using the touch command. Type touch and then pass it the name of our file which in this case will be sample.txt. Now if we type ls, we can see that there is a single file in this directory named sample.txt. Just as we added a new file, we can remove a file using the remove command rm. By typing rm sample.txt, now typing ls should reveal that our directory is again empty. Lastly, let's remove our sample directory entirely. To do so, let's first back out of our sample directory into the parent directory sites using cd dot dot. Now typing pwd should reveal that we're in our sites directory. Typing ls will show that the sample dir is present, and to remove the directory, we type rm and we add an additional flag dash r and then pass it the sample dir name. Adding that r flag, which stands for recursive, allows us to remove directories which contain files. In this lesson, we covered how to add and remove files and directories from the file system. Throughout the remaining lessons, we'll frequently be moving around the file system and executing commands from the command line. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.